Thank you for coming back to Polka Dot Mailbox. And if you're new, welcome. Today I am showcasing for you the brand new Paige Evans Bloom Street Collection. Now, if you subscribe to her Facebook page, it's called the Happy Scrappy Place, Paige Evans Happy Scrappy Place. If you are a member of that community, she sometimes has these offers where you can purchase her new collections by pre-order. So on January 3rd of this year, she put up a pre-order to get the entire collection for $160 US shipped US priority and you would get one of everything in the collection. Now this wasn't supposed to come to us until around the... Um, end of March or beginning of April and this is amazing to be able to show this off to you early it actually is not my collection this is a friend of mine who pre-ordered this it is um, a girlfriend of mine who shares a love of paper crafting she is a huge Paige Evans fan and she thought that it would be nice to share what she got with me and my viewers to take a peek and see what this new collection looks like and I can just tell you my thoughts about all of these different gorgeous papers and um, that's the one six by nine pad and you'll see that there was iridescent foil on some of the pages which I absolutely love um, that sort of holographic look really adds a lot to the collection. I'd have to say my favorite, now this is the first time I'm seeing this collection, but I've already seen little peaks of her collection. And this right here is my favorite piece that she has. This would be just gorgeous as a tassel hanging off of a binder mail or hanging off of a mini album even putting on a gift basket. And in true Paige Evans fashion, she has the two by two squares, which I really love these, especially if you're making the little four by four albums, they have two by two pockets and to have the pre-cut um, papers already done for you is such a time saver. These are stunning. These are absolutely gorgeous. They have such a weight to them as well. It's something I have never seen before. So they have a metal set of like centers here and these gorgeous little holes in there. So you could actually use these to hang um, off of a little happy mail as a, a little charm or you could adhere them directly to a page. They are really, really cute and they, I think the way that the reason why they have so much weight to them is they are the, like a charm that's like a, it's almost like a clay type of material. It's not like a typical paper kind of material. So those are something really special. So this is the second set of ephemera with all of these gorgeous tags live life in full bloom getting ready for spring this is something that is just so colorful and fresh start to the new 2020 spring year this is getting me excited to see and think about the end of winter here in canada it is uh very cold it was like minus 40 this past um last week with the wind chill it was and I work outside so I was feeling that that's for sure these are gorgeous as well I love a good sequin mix and what fun that she's included all these leaves and flowers and little sequins in there along with some gems I love the cascading three or four different size um, embellishments like that here's another really stunning thing that they have in um enamel dots with this sparkle and then the shapes just beautiful and of course everything is perfectly color coordinated for the collection here are the thickers and what they look like they have these beautiful floral patterns on each letter and you get quite a good number of letters and numbers as well so that's great here are some of the thickers from the collection all these fresh words that just scream 
spring and I absolutely adore how they have this um, like green to blue and then purple, blue to purple, how the pink um, change from like a light to a dark. It's really a nice ombre effect on those. So there's two of those. And so my neighbor did make some alterations. She was able to add a few things. She didn't want the stamp set. The stamp set came with this collection as well. And um, she opted in for some other things. So they, she was able to customize hers a little bit. But typically, if you just order exactly what Paige is offering, then you get sort of like one of everything in the collection. So I can walk you through some of the papers here now. I just find this stunning, like this is so pretty. Dance in the rain, <laughs> you make my heart flutter. This is really pretty, would make a nice recipe card if you wanted to send like your pen pal a recipe. And then look at those scallops, that's really pretty. This pretty purple. Paige is one of the few designers that works with purple more than any other. I know Chamel does some purple in her lines as well. But um, Paige Evans is one. So if you're a big fan of purple, there is a nice touch of purple throughout this kit. The one thing that I really love about getting the individual sheets of paper is that you get to have one, these gorgeous branding strips, which are so useful. I have so many ways that I love to use those branding strips, as well as you get a... Um, double-sided paper. When you order the paper pads, they're um, just a white cardstock on the other side. This, along with the cut aparts, is probably one of my favorite papers in this collection here. And you can see now when you've ordered the smaller paper pad, you get the holographic pattern like this. But when you order these individual sheets, you get the um, non-holographic version. So it's nice to have the option for both. Isn't that cute with the little bumblebees and the flowers? Ooh, this is really stunning as well. I really like this pattern. And then you've got some sort of like geometrical kind of triangular shapes. Here we've got the dark green. This is a beautiful pink polka dot. I mean, this matches so many collections. It's a nice thing about um, being able to mix and match collections as well with either other work of Paige Evans. This is a beautiful watercolor backdrop that is already pre-done for you. It looks like you've done some mixed media of your own, but saves you the time and the mess and the cleanup. <laughs> I love these. Cut aparts are one of my favorite 12 by 12s to order. And uh, look at that gorgeous blueberries. They look like little seed packets and that's super cute. And on the back, there's this gorgeous paper. So I'm seeing all of this for the first time with you guys and it's really very pretty. I'm really like this. Wow, this would be great. Now here's something you could easily fussy cut because you could easily just cut it with your trimmer really quick and then you could create like a little banner type style or a pennant and um, and and these would be really fun I could see a lot of uses for a lot of those here's another thing that you could fussy cut each of those letters out I could see myself doing something like that here's more of like a pastel stripe really pretty yellow again with the ombre where it goes from light to dark ombre effect on that one there this is really pretty so strong purple tones in that paper <laughs> this is cute you've got a mix of opened and unopened um, umbrellas there and fun little polka dots a really colorful stripe and then we're getting into there's a repeat there this is a new one this looks like a, a paisley sort of design and then a really nice lined, dotted line on the um, on the other side there. We've got a plaid here with the purples and the blues. And then the teardrops, which are gorgeous little raindrops. Some like watercolored looking paint splatters really very pretty as well all of these make gorgeous background papers they're colorful 
and not too overwhelmingly busy with patterns of um, things that sort of take over the the page where you could use that you get a lot of color and but a uniform sort of pattern in the background I like using those kind of things along with this kind of stuff for the background and then let the ephemera and the stickers take form so this is really pretty another watercolor in like the yellows and pinks really pretty as well and we're down to the last two here we have hearts which would be great if you're still working on some valentine themed things i love fussy cutting these little arrowy things out as well those are super fun to like put on the bottom of a page and then stitch like a line through like the the arrow part and stuff i really like doing that and this is the last one here so then you also have 48 sheets in the beautiful 12 by 12 book again all the same patterns these are non-holographic again not double-sided so it really is beneficial especially if you're working on a mini album i love to have double-sided pieces of paper or if you're making an envelope or i mean you could make an envelope like this and then just have it be white on the inside which can be handy because sometimes when you have like a really nice paper from here you've got something on the back that doesn't work on the inside of an envelope or on the back of a page especially if it's something like cut aparts so that's the whole collection there um, I thank you so much for watching this is a gorgeous collection very inspiring for spring love the happy colors and all the beautiful floral patterns and all the fun element stickers that she's created like the butterflies and the words so lots of fun and I thank you so much for watching and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel you can go ahead and do that I do lots of project videos hauls tutorials happy mail planning videos I'm a lover of paper so anything paper related and I do unboxing for other things as well like my fab fit fun spring box i'm expecting to come next so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you again next time